It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Madrid against Espanyol. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Vinicius. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And now they get the ball rolling. Rodrigo. Now with Benzema. Karim Benzema. Just cutting off the supply. And there it is! The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And the match back in business. Real Madrid with the advantage. Rodrigo and return to Benzema well not hard to read that pass well visionary passing oh and a perfect ball now how about this well I must say it did look so promising but the flag is raised offside the verdict Stuart well he's just too eager there it's the right run but he's made it too early Karim Benzema. Oh, great vision. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Dardaire. Now, who can he play it to? Has a go. Oh, a lovely ball and still an opportunity. A goal. Real excitement, a back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Mark. 
So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. They've regained possession. Modric. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Well, that's the end of that move for now. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Defenders need to cover. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Well, as you can see, Real Madrid have controlled the possession, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Now can they make something happen? A fine reading of the situation. Now can they create something? Chance to take the lead! And it's come off the keeper! And I think the threat has been averted. Karim Benzema. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. Into the second half, then, here at the Bernabeu. He's protecting it effectively. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Who can he pick out? Takes the shot. Keeper had work to do. And time for the change now. So the corner played into the box. The corner kicks keep on coming. <laughs> Who can he pick out? And a struggle to get it away properly. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Modric. Here's Carvajal. Vinicius. Can they convert? Not well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Benzema takes it forward now Take it away. Casemiro. Modric. On to Benzema. Vinicius Jr. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Benzema! And a goal to re-establish their advantage! Just look at the celebrations!
Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and Benzema wasn't going to miss this one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. That's a well-constructed goal. And the substitution will occur now. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Dardair. And they trouble the opposition this time. Could be. Well kept out. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Let's see about the delivery. And he clears the danger. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Interception to snuff out the danger. Tony Kroos. Carvajal. Given away by Real Madrid. Well, it's not quite in the books yet, but almost for Real Madrid as they try to see it out. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent, but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. And we are going to have two additional minutes. And still pressing for a goal here. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Substitution for Real Madrid. And fired from the flank into the area. A deft clearance. So there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid victorious, and their fans are going to be happy with this. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. And the shining light for his side, Karim Benzema. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.